Hey guys, in today's video, I'll explain you the functions and features of GeForce Now recording and what it does, basically this overlay, right? So, first things first, when you click Alt-Z, this is what should pop up, right? So there's the instant replay, there's a the record, there's the broadcast live. There's screenshot, photo mode, and game filter. So most of them like explains itself, but this thing, game filter. So what it does is basically, um, when you open a game, right? So it needs to support a game. When you open a game, what game filter does is it adds extra bit of features like color, color correction, depth of field, um, uh, LUTs, and whatever. Like basically color, like basically CCs, right? Color correction. So here there's performance. It shows you how much GPU RAM and what's going on, right? It just shows you what's going on in your PC right now, the current stats. So uh, there's also like more important things that it needs to show in game if you want. So yeah, that's that's about it, right? So when you go back, um, click Alt Z again, and this is your gallery. This just shows what you have saved previously. Um, this is your webcam or any camera they have connected to your uh, computer. This is your microphone. Um, so if you go inside here. I guess you can see there's a lot of options. This is just basically your, um, you know, your logins through GeForce Experience. Not important, but you do need this if you want to stream, right? So in order to stream, you need to log in with one of these. So uh, if let's say I want to stream on Twitch, right? So I'm gonna log in with Twitch. I'm gonna connect with both the software and like you know, it's like there's no stream key thing like OBS. So it's just automatic. Just start streaming. Boom, you're you're like live on uh, Twitch. So let's go back and there is the HUD layout. This is basically HUD. Uh, you want to see what's going on, performance, uh, this camera where you want to show your camera, right? Uh, sta status, uh, I'm going to turn this off, I don't want the status. Uh, viewers on the top right, if you want to see how many viewers you got on the stream. Comments also on the right top, if you want to see how many comments are there, it shows you the comments. So HUD is pretty self-explanatory. So we're going to go back, there's key keyboard shortcuts. So keyboard shortcuts is basically, um, it's also self-explanatory so for me i i said mostly for my record i don't i don't broadcast an nvidia geforce experience but i use obs so this is not important to me for if it's important for you just keep it for your ergonomic users so for me i said it to record so record as you can see here alt shift f10 uh this is not important i just said this here too because i have a 103 keys keyboard so i just don't set it to like you know one of those f keys so alt i and alt o is my suitable one when you go back and there's recordings this is where you save temporary files is basically cache uh it just saves the you know basically your cache files so it like optimizes your experience um this is videos this is where it saves your video files so both of these are in ssd because I find it easier to like, you know, get access to them. Uh, try your best to keep the temporary files cached in an SSD because uh, it will not lag then. The videos will like be perfect uh, or like it will be more optimal. And videos, um, I'll set it to SSD, but you can set it to HD if you want to. And then there is broadcast live. So yeah, um, I'm gonna show you what's going on. So here it says the quality. You can set it to custom. You can go for your own um, resolution. If you go to Twitch, for Facebook it's like 30 FPS cap. For Twitch you can turn it up to 60. And da da blah blah. And the custom overlays, um, which server you wanna uh, you know stream from. It's very nice, it's pretty cool. Uh, there's MBS. Um, yeah, that's about it. So I'm gonna turn that off. Uh, there's highlights is basically auto auto instant replay so it's gonna like basically um save whatever kills you do in game if the game supports shadow play uh for me i don't want this uh if you want to keep it for yourself as you can see there's like a threshold and stuff but uh it's not very important for me and then there's photo mode right so photo mode is game filter so basically like i said it just does like cc in the game I keep it turned on because in some games, older games, uh, you do need like game filters to make it look better. There's audio, so yeah, you have to fix your audio, basically single track, um, separate both tracks. Volume, boost, your microphone, video uh, volume is pretty important. So it's very, very important, so you must keep that in mind, just um, keep recording, uh, turn on your record, uh, try different settings, just say like, you have 40%, check, check, 60%, check, 90%, check. So whatever volume is best for you, just keep it at that one, right? So, and there is video capture. This is the most important one because this is what you're looking for. So instant replay length, 
very self-explanatory. It's like one minute, 30 seconds. For me, it's just enough. If you're playing like uh, Valorant CSGO or any any game that has like a round based, you can select to like 15 minutes or 20 minutes uh, to your preference. But I like to keep it like one minute, 30. Um, if you have a, uh, so here's an idea. If you have some, a very limited space, uh, storage space, if you want to record like a whole round um, without any risks, like a whole round of three gigs, let's say, uh, and 20 Mbps, 10 to be 60 FPS, um, I suggest after recording, go to a video trimmer file like Capcut or like Filmora just just trim it down very fast very quick uh, but I like, like to set it at like 130 I don't like that post work uh, post work like the cutting and trimming part so I'm just gonna keep it at like 130 1 minute 30 seconds uh, the quality keep it at custom 1080p um, 60 fps this is just suffice for me 20 mbps is also just enough if you want to keep it high as you can see the the storage increases so 20 is just the sweet spot for me and then when you go back you go back there's notifications um, so just keep it up and just turn on whatever is like important to you most of them are important to me someone doesn't keep it on um, and there's privacy control basically what it does is like if you want to record your desktop and whenever like so let's say you're recording right so you're going to go to discord or your youtube wherever you want and <clears throat> so um if you get out of the game and you're still recording it will not show your desktop it will be like a whole blackout so if you turn it on it's going to show your desktop i like to keep it on because i don't have anything like a you know, private on my computer uh the basic desktop right and there's performance monitoring when you go in there's like some things you don't need and this thing is the one you need right so it's like a log so like what's the problem you can see like in-depth um performance details for your current recording and stuff so i just i never used it but if you want to use it just click uh, go for like a file that you can find more most comfortable finding it and uh, like select to assign a hotkey just like see what the lock details are so yeah that's about it when you go back click back or done and that's about it that's how you record with geforce experience i hope that clears out for you yeah that's it guys peace out